Christmas is very soon, Ivy. Oh, I'm so excited. So you like Christmas, huh? Yeah, it's my favorite holiday. Is it really now? Why do you like Christmas so much? It's your turn. Is it the presents? Yes, and the Christmas tree, and the food. Hmm. Grammy! <laughs> really? The food? What kind of food do you like? What kind of food do I not like? Oh, gosh. It's your turn. I've been wanting to make a special dish that was a favorite for Christmas for hundreds of years. Really? What is it? I want to make a mince pie using an old recipe from Elizabeth Raffold's 1769 cookbook, The Experienced English Housekeeper. Oh, The Experienced Housekeeper. Can I help? Well, let's clean up. So what is mince pie, Dad? It usually has lots of raisins in it. It's got nice tart apples. Uh, it has brandy. Sometimes it even has a little meat in it. And of course, spices. What kind of meat? Well, uh, they usually have something that has a very smooth grain to it. So tongue or tenderloin. Cow tongue? I like cow tongue. Yeah, I know. You're a funny little girl, aren't you? Are we going to use cow tongue? Not in this recipe. This particular recipe is a meatless mince pie. So how do we make it? Well, we need to start with about a pound of currants and about a half a pound of raisins. What are currants? Currants are kind of like little tiny raisins. Then why don't we just use raisins? Well, you can use raisins instead of currants if you can't find them in your grocery store. Let's get these mixed up. Let's pour them out. And what we need to do is chop these, all these, down into a very minced up form. Doing it this old fashioned way, it might take up to, to a half an hour to get these all minced up in their tiny little form. But if you're in a more modern kitchen, well, you can use a food processor and it will only take a minute or two. So, here are our raisins and currants, all chopped up. To this, we're going to add about a pound of our finely minced apple that we need to chop up the same kind of way. And then we have about four ounces of candied orange peel. I'll put that in here too. And then we have about a half a cup of regular white sugar. Can I mix it up, Dad? Not yet. First, we need to add some spices. We've got a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of clove, all ground up. And then we have four ounces of this brandy that we need to put in here. So let's put these all in too. There we go. Now we can mix it up. That's hard, isn't it? Here, let me give it a try. You're gonna get, really get that stuff off the bottom, get it all mixed up. The last thing we need to add to this is the suet. Suet, what's that? Is that what we feed the birds in the winter? Yes, suet is a special hard kind of fat that comes from the kidney area of cows and sheep. It not only makes the pie much more moist, but it also gives it a, an interesting texture. Are we going to use suet? No, we're not going to use real suet today in this recipe because suet can be very hard to find in the United States. Uh, if you ask your local butcher, he might be able to keep some suet out for you, or you might be able to order some online, but today we're going to use a substitute. About 10 ounces of vegetable shortening that we froze and then we grated. Let's just dump this in and get it mixed in. It looks like butter. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is all mixed up. This is our mincemeat ready to go. Now it's time to put it in our pie shell. What we're going to be using today is a puff paste. I saw that video. This, uh, this puff paste has been rolled out pretty thin, about an eighth of an inch, and I've got a bottom and a top right here. Let's put our, our uh, mincemeat in here. We've we prepared enough for about two pies this size, so we'll only use about half of this. When will it be ready to eat? Well, first we're going to have to bake it, and this pie will need to bake uh, in a modern oven about uh, an hour at 375 or until nice and golden brown. We're going to bake this in our earthen oven. You could also bake it in a Dutch oven. Well, it's cooking. I feel in the mood to decorate. Is this ready? Yep, it's ready. This pie you can eat hot or cold. I think we should eat it now. Okay, let's cut it up. There's your piece. Let's give it a little taste. Use your knife. Yep. Mmm. Wow. That is great. Oh, you want to try the crust. Yeah. How's that puff paste? I can't get it. You got it. Is that good? Sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's got a nice texture. It's very moist. Really, really good. If you want a recipe for this pie, as well as other mincemeat pies, make sure to check out our savoringthepast.net cooking blog. It has this as well as many other recipes. All the items you've seen here today, all the cooking implements, all the clothing, all these things are available on our website or in our print catalog. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. I want to thank you for joining us today as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the 18th century and Merry Christmas.